In the previous lesson, we introduced channels and message passing, and two lessons ago we started introducing concurrency and parallelism. But when we use channels, we can send messages between threads, we made a couple of examples, but we really need to be careful about shared state. And channels have a similar concept than ownership, because once you transfer a value down a channel, you should no longer use that value. And we checked some lessons ago how you can have, for example, multiple ownership, for example, with the RC counted smart pointer. Is there a way to handle shared state concurrency in Rust? Yes, there is. And we will make some examples now. We will make one example using this mutex, which stands for mutual exclusion. And to have an idea, mutual exclusion is, for example, when you have multiple people who have to talk and you have just one microphone. And another analogy might be with a traffic light, when you have just some cars that can pass and some who can't. And usually working with the mutex is not the best experience as a developer. I did the demo with C, I think, some years ago. It is usually a nightmare, but uh, since Rust is so rigid in how you have to write the code, you can get this mutex wrong. So Rust will handle all these lock and unlock features. These are used to allow just one person at a time to speak, using the analogy we talked about some seconds ago. Or in this case, for example, we have this variable. We can initialize this using this mutex new keyword. And then as you can see, we can lock it, the reference it, and putting this uh, value as six. Let's see the output here, cargo run. And we have here this mutex data, which is six. And some people probably guessed it right that the mutex is also a smart pointer. So it's not in the smart pointer section of this course, but here we are using this smart pointer. Let's see another example. What if we want to use mutex for multiple threads? Can we do that? Does it work or not? We are creating multiple threads here. We are using a join. We introduced the threads two lessons ago. And then we try to use this mutex for multiple threads. Let's try cargo run. And no, we have an error. This is not possible. We can't use mutex if we have multiple threads. Can we solve this problem? If you checked the lesson about RC counted smart pointer, you probably might think that this could could come handy to fix this code. Let's replace this uh, example with a similar one that uses the RC smart pointer to keep track of the ownership. So let's try cargo run again, but no. Again, sadly, this can't be solved by the RC smart pointer. And I think I mentioned it when I introduced the RC smart pointer. It doesn't work with multiple threads. The RC smart pointer is intended to be used only in a single threaded code. Is there a way to solve this? What should we do? Introducing ARC, which stands for Atomically Reference Counted type. Let's replace this RC with ARC, like that, here and here. And this will take care of handling the shared state concurrency between multiple threads. Let's try it out. And now we solved the issue. As a recap, we had to use this ARC smart pointer along with this uh, mutex to handle the shared state concurrency among thread. And this is a basic example, of course. We might make in the future maybe some bigger projects. The goal of this lesson was to introduce this ARC smart pointer and how you can use it when you have multiple threads and you want to share the state among them. In the next lesson, we will talk about the send and sync traits. And this will conclude our section about uh, concurrency and parallelism in Rust. If you want, you can drop any questions below and see you in the next video. Bye.